everyone on your back in Shavasan. Legs apart, comfortably, arms apart, palms turned upwards. Relax the shoulders away from the ears and bring the chin towards the chest. Relax the body from toes to the head. Relax the legs. Relax the back. Relax the arms and the shoulders. Relax the neck, head and the face. Feel lightness in the body. Let go the thoughts of the day. Calm down your feelings. And bring the awareness to the breath. Make your breath slow, long and deep. With the inhalation, abdomen expanding. Fresh energy moving into the body. And with the exhalation, contract the abdomen, release all the tiredness from the body. Slow down the breath more. Allow the body to sink down with gravity. And keep breathing slowly, consciously and deeply. Bring your legs together, interlock your fingers, stretch your arms over the head and stretch the whole body, stretch the body, stretch, release the stretch, bend the knees, turn over to one side and sit up for the prayer. Put the hands on your knees in Chen Mudra, take a deep breath. Gajananam Bhutaganadi Sevitam Kapiti Jambu Palisari Bakshikam Uma Sutam Shokavina Shikarnam Namami Vignashara Badi Pankajam Shadananam Kumkumaratta Varnam Bahamatim Devimayura Vahanam Rudrasisunam Surasenyanatam Kuham Sadaham Sharanam Prabhate Yakundain Dutu Sharhara Dabura Ya Shubravasra Prita Ya Vina Ya Shweta Padmasana, Ya Brahma Juta Shankara Prabhupada, Devai Sada Pujita, Samam Padu Saraswati Bhagwati, Nishesha Jarya Paha, Om Namashivaya Guruve, Sachitanandamurtai, 
निष्प्रपंचा शांताय श्री शिवानंदाय ते नम श्री विष्णु देवानंदाय ते नम ओम सर्व मंगल मंगले शिवे सर्वार्थ साधिके शरणे त्र्यंबके गौरी नारायणी नमोस्तुते नारायणी नमोस्तुते ओ शांति 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 ओम शिवाय वेलकम टू द क्लास लेट्स गेट रेडी फॉर द प्रैक्टिस bending with kapala bhati sit up straight any comfortable sitting position if you have back trouble please sit on a cushion both the hands on your knees in chin mudra chin parallel to the floor take a deep breath in here lengthen your back open your chest exhale inhale exhale the first round of kapalabhati inhale deeply and begin 3 quarters of your lungs hold the breath very gently relax the body focus at the third eye center and slowly exhale inhale exhale the next round of kapalabhati inhale deeply and begin 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 
ready to hold the breath. Inhale, three-fourth of your lungs. Gently retain the breath. Shoulders relaxed, neck relaxed, spine straight. Keep the chest open. Face relaxed. And slowly, with control, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last round of Kapalabhati. Going a little faster this time. Inhale deeply and begin. One, two, 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 one, two,
right exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale right on one, on two, on three, on four. Retain gently, close the nostrils. Left exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale left on one, on two, on three, on four. Hold the breath, close the nostrils. Right exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale right on one, on two, on three, on four. Retain gently. Left exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale left on one, on two, on three, on four. Hold the breath, close the nostrils, relax your body. Focus at the third eye center, concentrating on any mantra you have or the universal mantra OM. Right exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale right on one, on two, on three, on four. Gently hold, close the nostrils. Left exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale left on one, on two, on three, on four. Hold, close the nostrils. Relax the body. Relax the mind. Right exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale right on one, on two, on three, on four. Retain gently. No pressure on the lungs and make sure you use the full lung capacity. Inhaling fully in the four counts, exhaling completely in the eight counts. Left exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale left on one, on two, on three, on four. Hold the breath. Right exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale right on one, on two, on three, on four. Retain the breath. Be gentle in the breath retention. Keep the spine straight. Shoulders relaxed, neck relaxed. Left exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, left on one, on two, on three, on four. Retain the breath, close the nostrils. Right, exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, right on one, on two, on three, on four. Hold the breath. Left exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale on one, on two, on three, on four. Hold. Last round. Right exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. 
Inhale, right, um, one, um, two, um, three, um, four. Retain gently, last breath retention. Lift, exhale, um, one, um, two, um, three, um, four, um, five, um, six, um, seven, um, eight. Bring the hand down, put the hands on your knees in chin mudra. Relax the body, normal, gentle breathing, eyes closed. Keeping the eyes closed, stretch the legs out, lie down on your back in Shavasana, arms apart and the legs apart. Take rest, relax. Keep breathing slowly and deeply with full awareness. Take a deep inhalation, bring your legs together, interlock your fingers and stretch your whole body. Give a nice deep stretch to the body, moving your toes forward and pulling the toes in, pressing the back to the floor, stretch, stretch, release the stretch, bring the knees to the chest, hug the knees tightly. And now bring your hands under the head, elbows resting down, shoulders relaxing down, knees close to the chest, inhale, as you exhale, drop the knees down to the right side and turn the head to the left. Keep pressing the elbows on the mat. Inhale, bring the knees back to the center. Exhale, knees to the left, turn the head to the right. Inhale, bring the knees back to the center. Exhale, drop the knees to the right, turn the head to the left. Inhale, come back to the center. Exhale, knees to the left, head to the right. Inhale, come up to the center. And one more time, exhale, bring the knees down to the right, head to the left, stay there for a few breaths. Feel how open your chest is. The left lung is fully active. Breathe consciously, breathe deeply. Stretch your breath to the abdomen. Now as you inhale, bring the knees back to the center and exhale, drop the knees down to the left side, turn the head to the, to the right and breathe with full awareness into the abdomen. Use the full lung capacity, using the right lung more actively than the left this time. Feel a good relaxation to your back. Now as you inhale, bring the knees back to the center. Use your hands, hug the knees to the chest. And now bring the hands under the thighs. Rock the body forward and backward. Be gentle with the body. Respect your body. After four to five rockings, please stand, stand up. Getting ready for sun salutation practice. Come to the front edge of your mat, bring your feet together. Let's take two deep breaths, inhale, exhale. Throughout the class, please focus on the breath. Inhale, exhale. Now the first round of Surya Namaskar, inhale. Your feet are together, exhale. Bring the hands to the chest in prayer position. Inhale, lengthen your arms up along the ears. Arch back by pushing your buttocks forward. Look up to the hands. 
Exhale, stretch your body forward and reach down with your hands by the side of the feet, bend the knees if you need to. Inhale, stretch the right leg back, right knee down, look up. Hold the breath, left leg back, body in a straight line, tuck the abdomen in towards the spine. Exhale, knees down, chest between the hands, forehead or chin down. Inhale, slide forward, arch back into cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes, lift your buttocks up, inverted V. Press the hands, press the heels down. Inhale, bring the right leg forward between the hands, look up. Hold the breath, left leg forward. Press the hands down, shift your body weight forward. Inhale, stretch your arms up and arch back. Exhale, release. Left side, inhale and exhale, prayer position. Inhale, stretch your arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch your body forward and down. Inhale, left leg back, look up. Hold the breath, right leg back. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, bring the left leg forward between the hands, look up. Exhale, the right leg forward, press the hands down. Inhale, stretch your body forward, stretch up, arch back and look up. Exhale, release. Next round, inhale and exhale, prayer position. Inhale, stretch your arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch your body forward and down. Inhale, the right leg back, look up. Hold the breath, left leg back. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, slide forward, arch back. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the right leg forward, look up. Exhale, the left leg forward, press down. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up, arch back and look up. Exhale, release. Inhale, exhale, prayer position. Inhale, stretch your arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch your body forward and down. Inhale, the left leg back, look up. Hold the breath, right leg back. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the left leg forward, look up. Exhale, the right leg forward, press down. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up, arch back, look up. And exhale, release. Inhale, exhale, prayer position. Inhale, arms up, arch back. Exhale, stretch forward and down. Inhale, the right leg back, look up. Hold the breath, left leg back. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the right leg forward, look up. Exhale, the left leg forward, press the hands down. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up, arch back, look up. Exhale, release. Inhale, exhale, prayer position. Inhale, lengthen your arms up, arch back. Exhale, lengthen your body forward, reach down. Inhale, the left leg all the way back, look up. Hold the breath, right leg back. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, go bro. Exhale, inverted way. Inhale, the left leg forward, look up. Exhale, the right leg forward, press the hands down. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up, arch back, look up. Exhale, release. Take a breath, break. Separate the legs apart. Hang your arms loose. Relax your breath and relax the body. Get ready once again for the fourth round. Feet together. Inhale and exhale. Palms to the chest in prayer. Inhale, stretch your arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch forward and down. Inhale, the right leg back, look up. Hold the breath, left leg back. 
Exhale, knees, chest, forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the right leg forward, look up. Exhale, the left leg forward, press down. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up, arch back and look up. Exhale, release. Keep the awareness on the breath. Inhale, exhale, prayer position. Inhale, arms up, arch back. Exhale, forward and down. Inhale, the left leg back, look up. Hold the breath, right leg back. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, slide forward, arch back. Exhale, inverted way. Inhale, the left leg forward, look up. Exhale, the right leg forward, press the hands down. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up, arch back, look up. Exhale, release. Fifth round. Inhale, exhale, prayer position. Inhale, arms up, arch back. Exhale, forward and down. Inhale, the right leg back, look up. Hold the breath, left leg back. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the right leg forward, look up. Exhale, the left leg forward, press down. Inhale, stretch your arms forward, stretch your part back, look up. And exhale, release. Inhale, exhale, prayer position. Inhale, arms up, arch back. Exhale, forward and down. Inhale, the left leg back, look up. Hold the breath, right leg back. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the left leg forward, look up. Exhale, the right leg forward, press down. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up, arch back, look up. Exhale, release. Last round. Inhale and exhale, hands to the chest. Inhale, arms up, arch back. Exhale, stretch forward and down. Inhale, the right leg back, look up, stay there. Breathe. Relax the body, open the chest, stretch the chin up. Now tuck the right toes in, take the left leg back, hold into the plank pose, breathe here. Tuck the abdomen in, shoulders just on top of the wrist, neck in line with the spine. Exhale, bring the knees down, keep the buttocks lifted up, chest in between the hands, forehead or chin down to the mat. Weight of the body is equally distributed on eight parts which are touching down. Inhale, slide forward, arch back into cobra. Release the chest and the diaphragm and the upper abdomen off the mat, relax the shoulders away from the ears. And on the exhalation, tuck the toes in, lift the buttocks up, look to the toes. Press the heels down wherever you are without walking forward. Fingers are slightly open, pushing the mat forward with your hands. Keep the head in line with the upper arms and push the chest closer down to the mat. Make a nice V-shape with the two halves of your body. Keep the abdomen tucking in towards the spine. And the next inhalation, bring the right leg forward between the hands. Place the left knee down, stay there, breathe. Chest open, chin stretching up, relax the body. And as you exhale, bring the left leg forward. Press the hands down, align the toes and the fingers. If you have to, you can bend the knees to be more comfortable. Place the hands down, Mamda. Chest close to the thighs, forehead close to the knees. Inhale, lengthen your arms forward, spine forward, reach up with your hands. Arch back by pushing your butts forward. Look up to the hands and exhale, release. Finishing up on the left side, inhale and exhale, palms together to the chest. Inhale, stretch your arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch your body forward and down. Inhale, the left leg back, look up. 
Hold the breath, right leg back. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the left leg forward, look up. Exhale, the right leg forward, press the hands down. Inhale, stretch your body forward, stretch up and arch back, look up. And exhale, release. That's very good. Separate the legs apart. Relax the body. Catch up with your breath. Inhale through the nose and exhale out with a ha sound through the mouth. <sighs> Couple of times that relaxes your body faster. And when you feel ready, please sit down and lie down on your back in Shavasan, arms apart and the legs apart. Take rest, relax. Once the breath is slowed down, scan the body from toes to the head and breathe into the tension, into the tightness. Relax the body completely. Take a deep breath, bring your legs together, interlock your fingers over the head, stretch your arms up, stretch the whole body and release the stretch. Preparing for the single leg raises, fix the arms close to the body, palms facing down, bring the chin towards the chest, toes are pointing up with feet together. Initial preparation for any asana is very important. Now, as you inhale, raise the right leg up. Keep the right knee straight. You can lower the leg down if it's not possible to keep the knee straight. Exhale, push the heel out, release the right leg down. Left leg up, inhale. Work with the strength of your abdomen. Exhale, bring the leg down. Inhale, the right leg up. Exhale down. The left leg up, inhale. Exhale down. Inhale, the right leg up. Catch hold of the right thigh with both your hands and pull the leg closer to the body. On the exhalation, head up, chest up and come up. Now, if the body is ready, please walk your hands more up towards the right foot. Keep the right knee straight. And the left thigh is pushing down. So both the legs are active. Body is relaxed. Keep the elbows bent. You can hold a little lower down if the body is tense, if you're struggling. Don't worry. Relax the shoulders by bending the elbows. Keep breathing deeply into the abdomen with full awareness. Now, once we release the head down, we will release the right leg to the left side of your body. So make necessary adjustments. If you're flexible enough, hold the right big toe with your left hand. If not, you can just release the head and chest down and stretch your arms in line with the shoulders. And on the exhalation, bring the right leg to the left side of your body. Turn the head to the right, relax the neck muscles and press the right shoulder completely on the mat. Now, if you're holding the toes, pull the leg more up towards the head. If you're holding 
If you're not holding anywhere, hold the back of the right thigh and pull the leg a little higher up towards the right hand, uh, sorry, the left hand. Settle down for a few breaths. Once you find your position, focus on deep abdominal breathing. Notice the right lung more active than the left. Now release the toe hold and let the body freely rest with the knee on the mat, knee on the floor. Bend the knee and just let go. Relax for a couple of breaths more. No struggle, no work to the body. Simply relaxing with your own breath. Inhale, bring the knee back to the center. Hug the knee with your hands. Press the lower back to the mat. Now as you inhale, raise the right leg up. And with control, slowly as you exhale, bring the leg down. Continuing with the practice for the left, inhale the left leg up, hold the left thigh with both your hands and pull the leg closer. As you exhale, head up, chest up, hands more up and come up. Find yourself a comfortable position where you don't have to struggle. Just be with your breath, relax the body. No tension in the neck. Make sure you're breathing deeply. Now, as you exhale, release the head and chest down. We need to release the left leg to the right side. So adjust your body, either hold the toe, with the opposite hand, or stretch your arms in line with the shoulders. Now, as you exhale, bring the left leg to the right side of your body and turn the head to the left. This time, left arm is in line with the left shoulder and the left shoulder is pressing on the mat. Relax the neck muscles. Try to move the left leg just a little high up and relax the body completely. Do what is good for you. Now releasing the toe hold or the leg hold, bend the knee and let the body relax. The knee is on the floor, the left knee. Now, as you inhale, bring the knee back to the center, the left knee, and hug the knee with your hands. Bring it closer to the chest. Now, as you inhale, stretch the left leg up. With control, exhale, bring the leg down. Take a break, take a breather, adjust your body. We are getting ready for the double leg raises. You can bring the arms under the body if you have back trouble or if you are new to the practice. Keep the arms close to the body or tuck the hands under the head. Feet together, six times double leg raises. <coughs> Inhale, <coughs> raise the legs up. Back should be pressing on the mat, knees are straight, shoulders are relaxing. Exhale, bring the legs down, use the control of your abdomen. Inhale, legs up. Exhale, bring the legs down. Inhale, third time up. Exhale, down. Inhale, raise the legs up. Exhale, down. Two more times. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Bring both the knees to the chest. Hug the knees tightly. Press the lower back to the mat. Now stretch your legs up and separate your legs apart. Hold the thighs from inside and keep moving your legs apart. Stay there and breathe. Keep pressing the back to the floor. Chin is towards the chest. Shoulders are relaxed. Body is relaxed. Deep abdominal breathing.
Now just try to move the hands a little more up and reach up to the toes. So remember, if you're holding the toes, the knees should not bend, the knees are straight and the lower back should not lift. And only you hold the toes, otherwise hold the thighs, that's all. And now preparing for the happy baby pose, bend the knees, hold the respective soles with both the hands and push the knees down towards the mat. Lower back is still pressing on the mat and you're pushing the knees closer down towards the mat. The shin bones are perpendicular to the floor. So the lower leg is perpendicular to the upper leg, that's what I mean. Keep breathing, close your eyes. Working to strengthen the back. And once you press the knees down, you feel it in the hip joint. Releasing the posture, bring the knees to the chest. Hug the knees with your hands. Inhale, stretch the legs up. Exhale, bring the legs down. Now take a deep breath, give a long stretch to the body. Arms over the head, interlock the fingers, stretch your whole body. Release the stretch, bend the knees, turn over to one side and sit up into the child's pose. Let's take rest, rest into the child's pose. Shashankasan. Relax the body, allow the blood to flow freely towards the head, relax the back. Please sit up, sit up on the heels. Let's get ready and follow the steps to come up into the headstand, Shishasan. Hold the opposite elbows. Place the forearms just in front of the knees. Stretch your arms forward. Stretch your arms forward. Interlock your fingers. Place the top of the head on the mat, back of the head against the hands. Now tuck the toes in, straighten your knees and walk forward. This is a very safe position. If you like to hold here, you can be here. And if you want to go with me, try the headstand. Bend the right knee to the chest, left knee to the chest. And when you're ready, move the knees up towards the ceiling and stretch the legs all the way up into the headstand. Stay there for a couple of breaths. Keep pressing the tripod down on the mat, reducing the pressure on the head. head. Tripod, the Tripod. Tripod is formed with the arms, the forearms, elbows and the hands, the tripod. Keep the abdomen tucked in and legs relaxed. Let's follow the steps, time to come out of the posture, bend the knees, bring the knees to the chest and bring the feet down, relax into the child's pose, bending the knees down, relax. Please sit up, 
and lie down on your back in Shavasan, arms apart and the legs apart. Turn the head side to side, take a few breaths, relax the body. Bring your legs together, interlock your fingers, stretch your arms over the head and stretch the whole body. Release the stretch, get ready for the shoulder stand cycle. Arms close to the body, palms facing down, chin towards the chest, feet together, toes pointing up. Move the shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, raise the legs up. Exhale, swing the trunk up and support your back into the shoulder stand. Sarvangasan. And now adjust your body. You can bend the knees to the forehead. Move the elbows just a little closer by moving your shoulders and shoulder blades. And walk your hands towards the middle back. When you're ready, raise the legs up again. Once you're there, try to push the buttocks towards the head and try aligning the heels, the buttocks and the shoulders. As the name is the shoulder stand, standing on the shoulders. So try to achieve that if the neck is fine. Close your eyes and still the body. Deep abdominal breathing taking place automatically. Feel the warmth in the face, rush of blood to the face. Sad Ang Asan. This asana is a magic posture, magical posture which works on all parts of the body, on all aspects of the body. Straightening up a little higher, inhale, and as you exhale, bring the right leg over the head with control. Inhale, the right leg up. Exhale, the left leg over the head. Inhale, the left leg up. Exhale, the right leg over the head. Inhale, the right leg up. Exhale, the left leg over the head. Inhale, the left leg up. Adjust your body, lengthen up the body. On the exhalation, bring both the legs with control over the head and halasan the plow pose. Find yourself a comfortable position. If the toes touch down, please release the arms on the mat. If the toes are not on the floor, please keep supporting the back. Try to lift the tailbone more up wherever your legs are. Just for a couple of breaths, be here. And now we are ready to release the posture 
either use your arms as brakes lift the toes off the floor and come down vertebra by vertebra or support your back and come up into the shoulder stand whichever way is possible for you and from here as you exhale bend the knees bring the feet down on the floor for setu bandhasana if you have released the posture you can come up into the setu bandhasana by bending the knees now walk the feet closer to the body and hold your ankles keep the buttocks lifted up feet are parallel knees are parallel and imagine a cushion between your knees and thighs keep squeezing that cushion so knee should not move apart it should press in and slowly exhale come down release the posture ready for chakrasan in case you're not doing chakrasan please do the setu bandhasana again place the hands under the shoulders for chakrasan fingers turned inwards heels close to the buttocks feet apart hip distance inhale lift the buttocks up and come up press the hands down to straighten your arms stay up hold for 10 9 8 7 6 5 Three, two, one, and slowly come down. Bring the knees to the chest. Hug the knees tightly. Press the lower back to the floor. And now, on the exhalation, head up, chest up, come up. Pavan Mukhtasan. Hold the opposite elbows. Squeeze the abdomen in. Knees are close to the chest. Chin, nose, or the forehead stretching towards the knees. and slowly as you exhale bring the head and chest down stretch your legs up as you inhale and with control slowly exhale bring the legs down get ready for on giving a counter stretch to the body matsyasana the fish pose slide your arms under the body elbows closely tucked in hands stretched down inhale lift your head up chest up come up on the elbows look to the toes and as you exhale lift your chest more up arch your back release the top of the head on the mat now focus on the breath make the breath slow long and deep use the full lung capacity and keep pressing on the elbows to reduce the pressure on the head keep breathing consciously and now as you inhale raise your head up chest up come up on the elbows look to the toes and exhale bring the head and chest down release the arms from under the body make fist around the thumbs rotate the wrist clockwise and anti clockwise turn the head side to side and relax in shavasana now bend the knees and join the soles together into the supta bad konasan let the knees fall apart feet are on the floor feet are on the floor supta bad konasan correct arms are in shavasan allow the inner thighs to relax so that the knees can come down closer to the floor keep the breath active every exhalation press the back to the floor your feet can be at any distance from the body just be comfortable mm 
Stretch your legs out. Interlock your fingers. Take a deep breath. Give a long stretch to the body. Stretch your whole body. And release the stretch. Let's sit up in the boat pose. Stretch the legs up, head up, chest up, point the fingers to the feet. The Nakasan, boat pose. Boat pose. Legs up, lie down first, lie down. Lie down on your back. Now, lift your legs up, head up, chest up, point the fingers to the feet. Come up. Nakasan. Yeah. Correct. Stay up and breathe. Keep the abdomen tucked in and relax the neck muscles. Stay up 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and sit up. Now sit up. Join the soles together for the butterfly. Sit up straight and flap your knees by holding the toes. And now stretch your legs out and bring your legs apart. Now inhale, stretch your arms up. And as you exhale, you're leaning down on the right leg, right leg. The side base is stretched. The side base is stretched. Open the chest up. Twist your body from the waist. So your right hand is holding the right big toe and left arm from over the left ear is trying to reach the right foot, right toes. If you're unable to hold the right toes with your left hand, just keep stretch, stretching your left arm away from the body, that's it. Keep the left elbow straight if you're not able to reach the toes. Breathe into the chest, the left lung more active than the right. Focus on the breath. Twist from the waist. And now as you inhale, come up to the center, stretch up. Arms up. And as you exhale, twist your body towards the other side. Don't come forward, just twist and lean down. Twist your body, correct. Open the chest. And do whatever is possible. Keep breathing. If you are flexible enough, your left elbow will reach down to the floor inside of the left knee. So try to achieve that. Relax the body, bend the, uh, bend the left elbow and place it down on the floor. Inhale, slowly come up. And exhale, release your arms. Now join the legs together for Pashimottanasana. Inhale, stretch your arms up, lengthen up your body. And as you exhale, stretch your body forward and down. Those who are suffering from back pain, please bend the knees and you can rest your chest to the thighs, hold the toes. Others, please stretch fully and try to hold the toes with your hands or place the hands by the side of the legs, just relax the body. Once you found your position, please focus on the breath. Inhaling, the spine stretching more. Exhaling, the body folding more forward and down. Try not to struggle. Completely relax the body wherever you are.
Inhale, please stretch forward, come up. And exhale, release the hands behind. Giving a counter stretch to the body with Purvottanasana, drop the head back, incline plane. Inhale, lift your buttocks up and come up. Bring the feet flat on the floor. Stay up, chest is open, breathe deeply, holding 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and slowly come down. Roll over onto your abdomen. Make a pillow with your hands and turn the head to the right. Relax completely. And now prepare for Bhujangasana. Place the forehead down. Tuck the elbows close to the chest, hands under the shoulders. Feet together, toes pointing back. Inhale, lift your head up, chest up and come up. The chest, the diaphragm and the upper abdomen are completely off the mat. Lower abdomen till the navel presses down. Elbows are bent, shoulders away from the ears. Relax the neck muscles. Breathe into the chest, breathe into the abdomen. Feel the pressure on your abdomen when the breath reaches the abdomen. And slowly exhale, come down. Keep holding the hands position. Move the hands a little lower down towards the waist and separate your legs, hip distance apart. Now inhale, lift your head up, chest up and come up. Straighten your elbows, lift your abdomen off the mat and drop the head back just for a while. Drop the head back, head back. And now bring the head back to the center. As you exhale, twist your body towards the right. Turn your body towards the right. Twist your waist, look to the left foot. Your head is in the neutral position. Inhale, come back to the center. Exhale, twist your body to the left and look to the right foot. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, slowly come down. Rest with head to the left, relax. Shalabhasana, the locust, draw the arms under the body. You can interlock the fingers or make fist around the thumbs or place the hands on the mat. Elbows are closely hidden under the body and hands are stretching down. Stretch your chin forward on the mat, feet together. Inhale, stretch the right leg back and lift it up. Exhale, bring the right leg down. Left leg up, inhale. Exhale, lower the leg down. Now the right leg up, inhale. Bend the left knee, support the right thigh with your left foot. Try to shift the body weight towards the chin. Breathe deeply. And slowly exhale, release the support, release the leg down. Adjust your arms if you have to. Raise the left leg up, inhale. Support the left thigh with your right foot. Stay there. Keep breathing. And slowly exhale, release the support, release the leg down, come down. Take two breaths, relax the body, mentally prepared for Shalabhasana, the locust, the full pose. Now adjust your body, arms more close, chin more forward. Visualize more energy in your arms. Let's take two deep breaths, inhale, exhale. 
Inhale, exhale. As you inhale, raise both your legs up and come up into the locust. Keep the knees straight wherever your legs reach. Stay up, pressing on the arms and lifting your legs more up. Stay up, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and slowly come down. Release your arms from under the body. Turn the head one side, relax. The last backward bend. Danurasan, the bow pose. Forehead down, bend the knees, hold your ankles. Knees are hip distance apart, or you can separate the knees wider to be more comfortable. Inhale, lift the knees up, thighs up, head up, chest up, and come up. Now close your eyes and try to lift up higher with your thighs, with your chest. Stay up. 10, 9, stretch the chin up, relax your facial muscles, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and slowly come down. Rest with head to the other side, just for a breath. And now place the hands under the shoulders, give a good stretch to the body. Come up on the knees and the hands for the Madriyasana. Knees under the buttocks, shoulders on top of the wrist. Inhale, stretch your chin up, push your buttocks back and arch your back. Exhale, round your back, bring the chin to the chest, tuck the abdomen towards the spine. One more time, inhale, stretch your chin forward, push the hip back and arch your back. Exhale, round your spine, Bring the chin towards the chest and squeeze the abdomen towards the spine. And slowly come back to the neutral position. Rest and relax into the child's pose. Extend your arms forward. Let's stay with the arms stretching forward. Relax the whole body and focus on deep breathing. Inhale, slowly come up and keep sitting in Vajrasana, sitting up on the heels, in between the heels. Now we get ready for Gamukhasana. Stretch your right arm up as you inhale. Exhale, bend the right, bend the right elbow and the right hand reaches towards the middle back. Gamukhasana, Gamukhasana, yeah. And from the uh, left side, bring your left hand to catch hold of the fingers. Keep the chin parallel to the floor. Chest is open, focus on the breath. Right elbow is pointing up. If the holding of the hands is difficult, you can use a towel or you can use a handkerchief. Hold the two edges of the scarf. Now slowly release and please change the side. Stretch the left arm up and bend the left elbow, hand towards the middle back. From behind, bring your right hand, hold the hands. Breathe. And slowly release. Now, Place your hands, the fingertips on the shoulders. Cup your hands on the shoulders. Give a gentle rotation to the shoulder blades. Three times clockwise and three times anti-clockwise. Get ready for half a spinal twist. Drop the body down to the right side. 
bring the left foot across the right thigh. Place the left hand on the mat behind near the tailbone. Stretch your right arm up, inhale, lengthen up your body. As you exhale, twist your body to the left, lean forward, push the left knee with your upper right arm, hold the ankle and look to the left shoulder. Stay there and breathe. Both the sitting bones rest down on the mat. Feel a good pressure on the abdomen and try to open the chest more, to breathe more. So how do you open the chest? Try to twist your body more from the waist and move the left hand more backwards. Keep breathing. And now inhale, stretch your right thumb up. Exhale, release it down. Change the side, sit on the left. Bring the right foot across the left thigh. Place the right hand near the tailbone on the mat. Stretch your left arm up, inhale. Exhale, twist your body to the right, lean forward. Push the knee, the right knee with your upper left arm. Hold the ankle. Or you can simply hug the knee and focus on the breath. Just be relaxed. Now as you inhale, raise the left arm up and exhale, bring the hand down. Hug both the knees to the chest, sit up straight. Let's get ready for the crow pose, Kakasan. Come up on the, come up in the squatting position. Make a rough square with your hands and the feet. Rest your knees on the upper arms and turn the hands slightly inwards with fingers open Look at a point in front. Keep looking at that point. Shift the body weight forward towards the hands. Lift one foot up and the other foot up. You have to look at the point ahead so that you do not topple down. And slowly release the posture. Please stand up. Standing forward bend, feet together, inhale, stretch your arms up, lengthen up your body. And as you exhale, stretch your body forward and come down. Hold the back of the legs anywhere, reach up to your ankles, keep the knees straight, chest close to the thighs, forehead close to the knees. Body weight is shifted forward towards the toes. Relax the body completely, allowing the blood to rush to the head. Do not tense your neck muscles. And now bend the knees, dangle your arms loose. Bend your knees, dangle your arms loose. Just hang your arms loose. Let go. One vertebra at a time, slowly, gently come up. Giving a counter stretch to the body, separate your feet apart, hip distance, support your back, drop the head back and push your buttocks forward. Hold your back, not the buttocks, hold your back. Keep the knees straight, breathe. And slowly come up. Trikonasan, use the length of your mat, separate the legs apart. Turn the right foot to the right. Right foot is at right angle to the left foot. The hip is facing forward. Stretch your left arm up as you inhale along the left ear. Lengthen up the left side and relax the right side. As you exhale, start bending from the waist across to the right. 
just go as far down as good for you. Try not to lean forward. Moment you lean forward, you lose the stretch in the left side. So watch it. Breathe deeply and slowly. Left lung more active than the right. Reach with your breath to the abdomen. And now bend the right knee, place the right elbow on the left right thigh. Place the right elbow on the right thigh. Stay there, breathe. Inhale, slowly come up. Exhale, release your arm down, change the side. Turn the left foot out and right foot in slightly. Hip facing forward, stretch your right arm along the right ear, inhale. As you exhale, bend from the waist and come down on the right to the right uh, left side. Feel a good stretch in the right side of the body this time. Let the right hand not drop down. Feel as though some force from side is pulling your arm towards the wall. Stay up and breathe. You can look in front or you can look up. And now bend the left knee, place the left elbow on the left thigh. Stay there and breathe for a few more seconds. Inhale, slowly come up, take your time and release the arm down. Join the legs together, come to the top of your mat. Time for final relaxation. Please sit down and lie down on your back in Shavasana, arms apart and the legs apart. Allow the breath to relax. Allow the breath to settle down. If you're coming for the practice, make it a habit to be into final relaxation. Don't leave the class. This is not a waste of time. Now let's do the physical relaxation of the body parts. Lift your right leg just one inch off the mat, tense the right leg, tense the right leg and drop it down like a stone. Lift the left leg up, tense the leg, tense the leg and drop it down. Squeeze the buttocks off the mat, tense the buttocks, tense, tense and drop. Press the load back to the floor by squeezing the abdomen and let go. Lift your chest up and drop it down. Squeeze the shoulders into the ears, push the shoulders away and lift your arms up, make tight fist around the thumbs, open your fingers apart, tense your arms from shoulders to the fingertips, tense your arms, tense and drop. Now tense all the facial muscles to the nose, make an ugly face, release. Open your mouth wide, pull your tongue out, open your eyes wide and stretch your facial muscles, give a good stretch to the face. Relax, close your mouth. Or gently turn the head to the right, bringing the right cheek or the ear down to the floor. And to the left. Come back to the center. Bring the chin towards the chest, make the final adjustment to the body. Legs are comfortably apart with feet falling to the sides. Shoulders away from the ears, chin towards the chest and arms six to eight inches away from the body with palms turned up. Allow the body to settle down here with no further movement. If you still have to adjust now so that you can't, don't move the body later on. Slow down the mind, let go in the mind. 
Breath is calm, breath is slow. Let's relax the body mentally, moving part by part. Without moving any part, just visualize and relax that part completely. Relax the toes, the soles, heels and the ankles. Relax the shins and the calves. Relax the knees and the thighs. Relax the buttocks, relax the hip joint. Legs are completely relaxed. Relax the abdomen and the chest. Bring the awareness to the back. Relax the lower back. The middle and the upper back. Relax the vertebral column. Back is relaxed. Awareness to the arms. Relax the fingers, the palms and the wrist. Relax the forearms, elbows and the upper arms. Relax the shoulders and the shoulder blades. The arms and the shoulders are completely relaxed. Relax the neck muscles. The back of the head. The top of the head. The forehead. Relax the eyes. The nostrils, the cheekbones. Relax the ears, the jaw, the tongue and the throat. The neck, head and the face are completely relaxed. Move the awareness deeper to the internal organs in the abdomen. Visualize each organ in the abdomen. Send awareness to the organs one by one and relax. Relax the lungs. <clears throat> Relax the heart and the brain. The whole body is relaxed. The breath is calm. Breath is peaceful. Become aware of the mind. Relax the mind. Relax the mind. Mind is relaxed. Relax. Relax. Relax.
gently awaken the body. Move your toes, move your fingers. Move the feet and the hands. Shake out the legs and the arms. Very gently turn the head side to side. Breathing a little more deeply. Bring your legs together. Interlock your fingers. Stretch your arms over the head. Give a good stretch to the body. Release the stretch. Bend the knees. Turn over to one side. And sit up. We'll end the class with a prayer. Jamahe Sukandim Pushi Pardanam Urvarukami Vakandanan Rityor Mokshiyama Brita Om Trayambakam Yajamahe Sukandim Pushi Pardanam Urvarukami Vakandanan Rityor Mokshiyama Brita Om Trayambakam Yajamahe Sukandim Pushi Pardanam Urvarukami Vabandanan, Rityor Mukshiyam Amritat Om Sarvesham Swastir Bhavatu Sarvesham Shantir Bhavatu Sarvesham Purnam Bhavatu Sarvesham Mangalam Bhavatu Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha Sarve Santu Niramaya Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu Makashit Dukhubhagave Asitoma Sad Gamaya, Tamsoma Jyoti Gamaya, Mrityor Ma Mritangamaya, Om Purnamata Purnamidam Purna, Purna Mudachate, Purnasya Purnamadaya, Purnameva Vashishate, Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Thanks to our masters and thank you everyone. Hari Om, that's it. See you again on in the next class.